So um, we're, what we're trying to do in partnership with GBB, uh, the airlines, um, the, the tour agents, uh, tour guides, uh, is we're trying to do a, um, what we call a end-to-end -end, uh, experience uh, for folks that are departing the airport and passengers that are arriving from the airport. So we want to bring them uh, and show them the experience and what the airport has done uh, to save, uh, to provide a safe and secure environment for people that are departing and arriving. The tour will cover the roles of all the different entities operating at the airport to include the airlines, Guam Customs, CBP, TSA, Public Health, and even the National Guard. So all those uh, 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 entities play a, a, a factor in how we process uh, our passengers and, our, and receive our passengers coming into Guam. Meanwhile, completion of a new level for arriving passengers has been pushed back again. It was supposed to be ready by August, but Kanata says the COVID has delayed that. The uh, construction manager is trying to get a handle on exactly what timelines we have uh, for that uh, third floor project is complete. We do have a uh, projected start date of uh, October 31st for half of the of the project to be open so that we can be using it uh, for, uh, for our passengers that are coming in. TSA regulations required the airport to separate arriving non-TSA screened passengers from departing passengers in the airport concourse. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto.